Hey guys, Tonic here. Have you ever wondered who would win in a fight between Joshua Graham and Legat Lanius? Well, today we're going to find out. Using console commands, I'm going to spawn both of them inside of the Great Khan fighting ring, and we're going to see who comes out on top. Both of these men at one point in their lives achieved the highest rank within Caesar's Legion, the rank of the Legate. This means that they are both going to be extremely deadly enemies in the ring. However, they both have a very different combat style, so first we're going to take a look at Joshua Graham. This man was one of the co-founders of Caesar's Legion and its first ever Legate. He led Caesar's army to the first battle of the Hoover Dam, and after suffering a very bad loss, he was lit on fire by Caesar and thrown into the Grand Canyon as an example to the other troops. Joshua Graham's weapon of choice is a unique 45 caliber pistol named a Light and Shining Darkness. This weapon has a base damage of 33 and he also does have melee capabilities while using a pistol whip type attack. Now let's take a look at Legate Lanius, also known as the Monster of the East. The early life of Lanius is honestly pretty unknown. There is a lot of different myths and legends about Lanius's upbringing into his position at Legate, but Caesar kind of presents him to be this really great warrior from a tribe out in Arizona, while some legionnaires believe that he was a child born into slavery and just his natural ability allowed him to grow through the ranks very quickly. All of these different myths and legends only made his name more feared among enemy armies. Now Lanius does not have any ranged attacks and his weapon of choice is a unique bumper sword named the Blade of the East with a base damage of 65. Now my original idea for this video was to spawn them both within this ring and then the best of three fights would win, however every single fight that I ran, the Legate just absolutely decimated Joshua Graham. The reason for this is because whenever the Legate hits Joshua Graham into a wall, Joshua Graham has nowhere to run to and he pretty much just has to take every single attack with no escape route. So I ended up just scrapping the idea of having a ring and taking them out into the middle of an open area. This will allow for a lot more maneuverability and hopefully they don't really get stuck on any objects. Here are the results. So there you have it, Joshua Graham is going to be the loser for this battle, and I'm honestly pretty surprised. I thought that that 45 would just kind of rip right through Lanius, but the bumper sword is just way too strong, and that knockback ability just absolutely destroyed him. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I used to grow up watching these kind of videos where it'd be like 100 gunners versus 100 super mutants. I would watch them for hours on YouTube, and I've always wanted to try and create one myself, but with more of the main characters and just kind of seeing who would win in these battles. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I do want to give you all a massive thank you for stopping by and watching, and as always, a massive thank you to all the channel members. Networkgate, Golti, Indica, Robert Kennard, Wandering Wastelander, Esdeath93, Joshua Graham, Lanthar, Anaristes, Fallout McFly, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Chad of Fallout 76 Podcast, Heather Henderson, Yosevated, Patrick Ruda, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Arjun Deer, Brazza Double Frang, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Theodore, Digital Aardvark, Lone Samurai OG, Dathan Gaming, Christy Mellon Schwitz. You guys are amazing. I love you guys and have a great day.